Now, what about this one? Have you ever seen a water falling or a waterfalls? Water falls from higher area to lower area in the same manner that water will move from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure. What do you call this when there is a movement of fluid or particles from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure? Fresher, fresher, area of higher pressure to lower pressure. So I intentionally stated letter F because I'd like you to remember when you're talking about pressure from area of higher pressure to lesser pressure, we're talking about filtration. So when we discuss glomerular filtration rate, filtration pertains to movement from higher pressure to lower pressure, shown here. So again, what do we call the movement of particles and fluid from higher pressure to lower pressure? This is known as what letter F? This is known as filtration. Now, remember when we were kids, there was this game known as tug of war. In the game of tug of war, you have two teams and each team will pull a single rope opposed to one another. And who do you think will win in the tug of war? The team with two people or the team with four people? Of course, usually the team with a greater number of people. This is same with particles. Think about this. Think that the people here are particles and they're playing the game of tug of war. But instead of using rope, they're pulling something else. Instead of pulling rope, they are going to pull water. So here's the question. As particles pull water, who do you think will win in pulling water? Two particles or four particles? Four particles. So remember that the greater the amount of particles in a certain solution, the greater the pulling power of that solution. That particle, that particle has a term. The number of particles in a certain solution is known as the tonicity of that solution. So remember, particles pull water and there is a term for this. What do you call the term or what do you call the pressure of the particle to pull water? We call this osmotic pressure. And again, as I've said, the number of particles may also be known as the tonicity of the solution. So, the higher the particle, the higher the tonicity, the higher the ability to pull water, the higher the osmotic pressure of the solution. Now, remember again that osmotic pressure is the power, simply put, the power to pull water. And what do you call that one which pulls the water? Those are the particles. Particles pull water. So remember again, the greater the number of particles, the greater the tonicity. The stronger the pulling power, the greater the osmotic pressure. Hence, again, remember this. If there is water between two particles or two groups of particles, where will water go? In this scenario, it will go to 8 or 16. It will go to 16. Because remember, this 16 particles have a higher amount of pulling pressure.